perfect. Let's see. Let me make sure it's nice and clear. Okay. Let's see. Good morning, everybody. Let's see if I'm connected. Get everybody shared. Here I am. Make sure I shut the off. Share. While I'm sharing, good morning, everybody. I'm Terry, and I am with Crafts a Latte. I'm so happy that you have joined me this morning on this beautiful sunny day here in Loveland, Colorado. So let's make sure that I have everything shared and that we are up and running. Oh, looks like we already have some on. Good morning, flower child. Good morning, Deborah. Thank you for joining in this morning. This is just gonna be a fun little quick, um, cute card that I thought with everything going on, it would be fun to start really acknowledging our country and our red, white, and blue and how much we love our 4th of July and now that stuff is reopening. Um, I thought it would be fun to start planning ahead and have people get their cards out and invites for barbecues and all kinds of stuff. So with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the products that we're gonna be using today. And actually what I'm gonna do is show you how cute this card is. Um, and it's, I did a half front and then you open it up and it's, I left room for um, either an invite or just a little happy saying. And then wanted to also mention that on our cards, it's nice to add cardstock Whisper White on the back if you wanna add more. Um, words and different information but you don't have to okay so that's the base of our card and so oh you know what I forgot you gotta have envelopes right and as you know I like to decorate envelopes as well so that's one thing oh I guess I did have one ha <laughs> ha okay so the products that we're going to be using today I'm gonna actually leave this right here and hope that you can still see it in the camera so that we can kind of be looking at it as we go. So here is our 2020 catalog, okay? So I just wanted to reference a couple of the pages of what we're gonna be using today. This is actually a die set that I had gotten last year out of the holiday catalog and it actually goes with a Christmas set that did retire. However, with that being said, I'm really hoping that they're going to be bringing it back with the holiday catalog that launches in August, believe it or not. Can you believe the Christmas catalog is already going to be coming out in August? They must be coordinating with Hobby Lobby or something because they're already putting their stuff out too. So I absolutely am obsessed with this set right now. And so it's gonna be real fun to show you how easy, 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 easy it is to cut out all of these fun little shapes of stars and different shapes. You're gonna be amazed at how fast it is and how versatile this is. And there is so many, many, many. And you can put them all on one piece of paper, run it through the dye machine, and you have them all printed um, one at a time. And then you just put in a different color Okay, so with that being said, I'm gonna show you exactly what I did. Okay, so this is this fun little stars and squirrelies, and I literally just ran it through three times with um, real red paper, and I'll show you here in just a second because I'm a little bit tangled. So I've got red, white, and blue, and then when I did that, all of the stars punched out for me as well, okay? So I'm actually gonna move this so you can see it better. Um, so when, I, when you punch them out, okay, this punches out as a whole, or cuts out, and then all the little 
extra stars and everything are punched out at the same time. Good morning, Michelle. Good morning, Carol. Thank you for joining. So this is just a really, really fun set that can be used for 4th of July, Christmas, Happy New Year, um, even birthdays, um, anything that you want. So I just love these colors as well. Okay, and so the colors that we did use today, this is our new 2020 to 2022 in color, Misty Moonlight. This will be around for um, at least two years, okay? So I've been using this really pretty blue a lot lately, okay? And so I'm gonna actually move this up just a little bit. The next one that I used was Real Red, and I use that one a lot. This is probably a staple like you would have in your kitchen. This is definitely a staple that I have all the time. Once again, it's called Real Red. I use it for everything, you know, Valentine's Day, 4th of July, Christmas, birthdays, whatever. And then of course our Whisper White cardstock. And the reason why I wanted to show you today, I've been getting a lot of questions lately. Um, well, why can't I just use the, you know, um, the craft stores and towns paper? Once you receive our paper, I don't know if you can tell how um, thick it is and if you can tell by bending it, but once um, you use our paper, I can guarantee you won't go back. Cause I used to think the same thing. Cause I have a lot of inventory of paper that I've used over the years, but I have to tell you that I'm very, very happy with the quality of Stampin' Up's paper. Plus the fact that it coordinates with our ribbon and our um, dimensionals and all of our ink colors, everything coordinates and matches together. Some other things I'm gonna be using today is this silicone craft sheet with a little sponge. We have these and they're round and I cut them up into quarters. And then I just take a little scratch piece of paper and I mark it what it's gonna be used for. So I have these in different colors as well um, of different inks that I use on a regular basis. And this is on page 162 of your catalog. It's only $6 and I use this to protect my surface, but you're gonna uh, really enjoy, I think, what we're gonna do with that to get these um, little really in intricate little embellishments, okay, or dies, whatever. Then we're gonna be using Family Party. This is a really fun set. I like to get the best buck, uh, the best out of my buck, for if that's how you wanna say it. With that being said, um, I really try to concentrate on sentiments that I can use in a lot of different cards and a lot of different ways, okay? So I use this one for the four, and then up here for the TH. So um, this right here is from this stamp set here. I could have used the Happy, which I originally did on my other card, but I liked how I brought in the die cut, which is what I'm gonna show you here, okay? So this set is actually a bundle, okay? And it's on page 14, and it's called A Wish for Everything, and it's a rubber stamp, okay? Um, or it's a, not called rubber anymore, excuse me. It's called cling stamp, okay? So it's got all kinds of sentiments. Then what you do is you coordinate it with these dies, and these are called word wishes, and they are found on page 183 under the dies section, okay? And so I think I need to maybe bring it this way. Sorry, I'm trying to make sure that I'm in the camera at all times. So with this one, what I did is I took this happy on the Misty Moon paper and that fast, it gave me an added dimension to the card, okay? So I'm showing you, yes, a couple of different sets, but I am showing you this for the reason of how many times you can use this over and over and over. You've got Christmas, Valentine's Day, Thanksgiving, um, Halloween, New Year's, Father's Day, Mother's Day, Merry Christmas, and then Happy Easter, Happy Valentine's Day. Okay, so you can see how they coordinate with being able to have the stamp and then it lifted with the die cut. Okay, so I really like this set as well. And to be honest, when I first got it, I wasn't using it near as much. And now that I am using it more, I am definitely more familiar with it. And so I'm going to be adding it 
a lot more because I like how it has that added dimension, okay? And then you always wanna make sure that you put your dies. I use magnetic sheets, you don't have to, of course, but I'm a very visual person. And I um, have lost, when I first started, I had lost um, one of my very important dies. I don't know if, where it went. So now I make sure to always put stuff back and keep it protected, okay? So that's that set there. So now that I've shown you what we're gonna use, let's go ahead and get started. And I'm gonna show you how very easy this set, it, this card is today, okay? So the very first thing I think I'm gonna wanna do is show you how I did this, okay? And what I did is, let me bring this over here, move this for just a second, because this is the score tool that I actually loopsy love, okay? Let me just move some of my stuff out of the way so you can see what we're gonna do. Now there's a, di there's a couple of different tricks that I wanna show you when I did do this, okay? This rosette gave me a little bit of trouble at the beginning, and so um, I tried to perfect it and show you the easy way to do it. So how we're gonna do it is we're gonna go ahead and take our real red, okay? 11 inches, and there's measurements on here, so it's 11 inches by one inch. And the very first thing that I did is a fun little trick to make sure that when I use my tool that it goes faster, okay? So what I did is I just took wax paper and rubbed it over to try to make it slide smoother because we're gonna be going a quarter inch all the way down to 11 inches. And you'll see what I mean. Okay, and for folding, I just am gonna do it again. So this is just wax paper that I used, okay? Then what we're gonna do is take our tool and we are going to go a quarter inch all the way down. So hopefully you can see that. I'm just going a quarter inch all the way down, okay? Whoops, I missed that one. <laughs> so a quarter inch all the way down, okay? So I've already done that for you, but what I wanted to show you is this is what's called the score lines, okay? And I absolutely love my Simply Scored tool here. It's a great um, way to do your scoring. So we're gonna, again, I don't know if you can, I'll try to come up without being blurry, but these score lines are gonna be all the way down. And I've already done that for us ahead of time so that we can speed things along. Whoops. And this way I've started my second card, okay? So what I did, then I'm gonna go ahead and I just thought this would be easier to have control over it because otherwise it's, um, so it's real long when you get done and then you just start folding positive and negative. So you just start folding back and forth, back and forth, okay? So hopefully you can see that. You just start folding on the score lines, okay? Up and down, up and down until you get this long strip, okay? So then let's go ahead and bring our silicone craft sheet in. And this is a fun little trick. So the reason I clamped them, which you don't have to do, but because of uh, me not having as good a control with my hand, I thought that this would be an easy way to bring it in tighter and I can tell that that's really going to, whoops, to work a lot better. Cause what we're gonna end up doing is, look at how easy this is. Um, and we're just gonna attach it and then bring it in. And so before we do that, I have my tear and tape here, okay? Oh, let's make sure that we're in the screen. So do I need, oh, hold on just a sec. Oh, sorry, sorry, it just fell off the advantages of being live, right? So let me just straighten that out just a little bit. Okay, sorry about that. Hope I didn't get you motion sick. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and move this up. Okay, so I took my tear and tape and I'm gonna put tear and tape right here on the edges, okay? So what we're gonna do is go ahead and put tear and tape on the very end I can get that out, there we go. And the reason you can see I'm using the silicone craft sheet 
is because it's going to overlay just a little bit, which is great because I want it to adhere to the other side. And then I'm just going to tear that off. And I'm going to go ahead and do it to the other side as well, just because I want to make sure that it stays sturdy. Okay, so we're just going to do that one more time. Tear that off. Okay, oh. then I'm going to take my pick tool, which you all know how much I love, right? This is not straight. Okay, um, sorry, I don't know why my mechanism is not saying straight. We'll get there. Okay, so... Now what we're gonna do is remove the cover because it's double-sided tape, okay? Do the other side, okay? This is honestly the longest process is just getting your rosette glued together. So what we're gonna do is try to bring it back together best we can, okay, on the ends to make sure. And then we're just gonna reel it in and make sure that they are touching just so right, okay, on the corners, okay? And then just hold that for a quick second, okay? Oh, good morning, Kayla. Good morning, Madison. Okay, so we're just gonna kind of fold that back in. So then what we're gonna do is you have this here. And I'm not concerned about right that, that glue right there. I want it to be sticky, okay? And then you just kind of form it however you want, okay? Then what we're going to do is we're going to take our white scratch, our whisper white, and then we're taking a hole punch, okay? And I love our locking mechanisms. This is how you open and close them. You just pop it right up. So we're going to go ahead and do two circles, and you'll see why here in a minute, okay? So one of them is to be able to glue it down. Let's get rid of our scraps, keep our mess cleaned up. Okay, so what we're going to do is, this is the side that has the adhesive on it, okay? Actually, I'm not really liking how, let me get some of this off, actually. Let me just take my scissors and do a quick little snip to that, because we don't want this to show on that side. Come on. Okay, that's good enough. So what we're gonna do is we have a circle. This is gonna be our adhering mechanism. I am going to go ahead and try our new stamp and seal. Well, good morning, Donna. This is our new adhesive for 3D projects and it takes some getting used to. Don't know that I'm used to it quite yet, but I'm gonna go ahead and try it. Otherwise, I am going to go ahead and go back to the tear and tape. Um, it's, you have to just use this ever so lightly, okay? And it's like a smoothing. And I'm just gonna get plenty on here because I really want this to stay formed, okay? So yeah, I've got quite a bit on there. So hopefully you can see how easy this is and how um, it's just taking some maneuvering, but how fun it is. So see how I did that? And because of my hand, I'm just going to kind of slide it on there. And this will be the back, okay? So just form it on there, squeeze it, push it together, and then kind of put the creases back together, okay? Like so. And see how very, very easy. When I first saw these, I was like, oh my gosh, I can't do that. That looks so hard. And you saw in a matter of minutes how very, very easy that is. So again, this is gonna be the back, um, but I'm not really liking how it's not sticking as best I want it to. So I may go ahead and put some tear and tape, but while that's drying, I am actually going to put it aside for just a second and put something heavy on it to try to hold it, just to make sure, okay? Now let's do our stamping. So here we have our circle for this part here, okay? So we're going to take the four from that family party and use our Misty Moonlight ink, okay? We're just going to do an easy stamp. And I like to make sure to look at it to make sure that we're fully covered. You don't have to push down and really, really overkill it. 
Okay, so we're just gonna push it down and kind of go to the left a little bit to leave room for your th, th, th. Good morning, Claudia, good to see you. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and close this up and then we're gonna bring in our real red. Okay, and we have this little, little TH, so you wanna make sure that you have it upside down right and how we're gonna, and then just make sure that it's covered how you want it, okay? And just try to center that a little bit and you're literally just going to put it wherever you want and there you have the fourth. Look at how easy that is. Once you get the hang of it and you can sit and do these rosettes in front of the TV and make however many you need to in just a matter of no time at all and then you can use this again for an invite for a barbecue you can put the invite on the back with the extra extra whisper white, however you want to do it, okay? Good morning, Amanda. Bless you for joining today. Okay, so I'm going to set this aside for just a second and let that rosette kind of sit there for a minute more. Now let's go ahead and show you how to build the base. Normally, we would do the base first, right? Well, I wanted to show you that technique first. So what we're going to do is... We have our standard, <coughs> excuse me, our standard cardstock, okay, real red. And this one, we're going to go ahead and score. And again, um, this is my host code. And if you do a $35 order or more, you get it, um, cards from me. Usually I make two or three, and then you get them for free. Um, but this is my host code. If you um, want to get any of these products today, just um, go to my online store. But anybody who likes, comments, and shares automatically also goes into the drawing to receive this for free. So please help me out and let me continue doing this because this is very medicinal for me. I love showing people and learning from others as well. Okay. So how we're going to do this, because this is cut in half along the middle, right? So what we're going to do is take our cardstock, and this is scored at five and a half. I'm going to come in just for this top front, okay, at, um, how did I do that? At two and a half, okay? Let me just confirm that, because I think I changed it up a little bit. I think I did two and an eighth is what I liked better. Yes. So what we're going to do is you can kind of see here, okay, is I'm just going to cut this strip off right here. And it's very easy to do that. I'm just going to come in at two and an eighth. Okay. And I'm going to take my, my cutting blade, not my scoring blade, all the way down to the five and a half. And you can kind of hear it click, which it just did, turn it around. <laughs> I hope you can see this. And then you're going to cut down again to that cut there. Okay. And so, um, if you don't have it just enough, then you can just take your scissors. Um, but that looks good cause it'll be covered up too. So then we put that aside and then we have our whisper white. Whoops. Um, what did I do with my whisper light? Okay, I'm going to have to go ahead and where? So much for, this is why you got to love lives, right? Um, so we have the whisper white five and a quarter by four. Okay, so five and a quarter by four is the standard inserts for usually on the front and um, the inside, but it just depends on what size card you're using, okay? So we're gonna be putting this here, okay? So in order to do that, <coughs> excuse me, now we get to do the fun. I can actually go ahead and glue this down because I have no more stamping because normally I would do the stamping first in case I make a little oopla and I need to turn it over, okay? So this we have here. Now we get to start playing 
with building of our die cuts that we cut out, okay? So here I went ahead and did the blue down first. So this is where I'm gonna show you this fun trick of how you go about trying to glue down these very thin images, okay? So what I'm gonna do, sometimes the dye machine doesn't pop out all of the um, images, so just go make sure with your tool to make sure that you have everything popped out, okay? Clean up that little mess there. That's my old pick tool. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna turn this over, okay? I'm gonna dab a little bit of glue here. What I really love about the silicone craft sheet is it's washable. It comes right off, which is why you wanna use this as often as you can when you're using adhesives because you don't wanna um, get glue on your surface, okay? Oh, good morning, love. Uh, Lori, she's my lovely uh, friend and upline. Great team to be a part of. And mentioning that, this is a great time, boy, if you've ever thought about getting any discount products, this would definitely be the time to join um, because we are having an incredible special that if you become part of my team, you get to pick any bundle you want in the new catalog. So that could mean a stamp set and a die, which is what punched out all of these lovely shapes today or a stamp set and a punch, which I'll be showing you this week some different projects using um, some punch stamp sets. So all you have to look for in the catalog, which I would show you, but I, I'm just trying to do fun projects today, is when you're looking through the catalog and you see a stamp set and either a die or a punch with it, there's gonna be what's called the wording of bundle, okay? And this is all I'm doing here, everybody. Oh, I, I just realized, that I don't even know if you can see this. So all I'm doing is I'm just gluing these. Uh, let's put this one here, okay? And again, I'm just gonna pick this up because there's already glue on here. Um, anyway, there is a red circle that says um, bundle, you receive 10%, okay? So when you see the word bundle and that 10%, you put in a code and um, you get 10% off discount when you do it that way. And by joining my team, and just until the 30th, you get to pick any bundle absolutely for free, plus you get starting out 20% off, plus you get the perks of getting to pre-order stuff. Like I said, the Christmas catalog is already coming out and we get to see it on the first and we get to pre-order stuff so that we can um, get our stuff ready to order for you guys and all kinds of stuff. So while I was talking, I showed you how incredibly easy and cute that is. I am obsessed, I just love this. So then what we're gonna do is glue down our DSP, okay? And I'm gonna trim this down just a hint, okay? I don't like that this is so fast. So I'm just gonna trim this down really quick, just about an eighth of an inch, okay? See if I like that better. And so um, even if you just want to join as a hobbyist and get things at a discount, I'd, I'd be happy to have you on my team. Um, and show you how you can do that. You can private message me, you can call me, you can text me. And um, if you ever wanted things at a discount, on a, uh, now would definitely be the time to do that. Okay, so now we've got some extra stars and you can kind of play around with it however you want it. But I'm gonna go ahead and get our little rosette now. Okay, so that's the back and I'm not gonna fuss with that. We're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and use tear and tape this time to see um, kind of which one I like better, okay? And I obviously don't wanna use um, dimensionals because it's already popped up enough on the card, okay? So then I'm gonna take my pick tool again, okay? And remove the adhesive. 
or the strip. Okay. And these would be perfect to um, add to packages. Like if you're going to a, um, let's say a barbecue or something and you're taking a package, um, how fun would it be to give the host a little card back? Or if we have time today, I'm gonna show you how fun and quick it can be to do a little tag as well. Okay, remember this is doesn't need to be centered because it's just going on the back, okay? So let's go ahead and use tear and tape again, especially on the back just because it can be just double adhering it to make sure that it, uh, let's do it this way, kind of stays straight and connected, okay? So getting back to purchasing or the starter kit, you get to design whatever you want when you get a starter kit. It doesn't come prepackaged. You get to go on and literally pick whatever you want. So let's say you already are, <coughs> excuse me, into stamping, stamping or scrapbooking and you there's certain things that you need. You can go in and have that be what you want. Add that bundle. Some of them are valued up to $60, okay? And again, you get it for free, okay? All right. Now we're just gonna go ahead and play around a little bit with what we want here. And I kept contemplating if I wanted anything over here. Um, let's see, I guess I, oh, here's one. I want a smaller one here. Um, but I think it turned out good the way that it is. Let's turn this back over here. So again, I'm just gonna use some of that glue and pick up. This has some stitching around it that I really like. And again, I'm just gonna dot that a little bit, pick it up, okay. And oh, I may have pushed down just a little bit too much, but that's fine, I saved it. Okay, I don't know why I keep going over to the left so much, I mean to the right, and then you can't see me. Okay, let's do a white one. How's everybody doing? Everybody still with me? I'm trying to concentrate on what I'm doing to make it go faster. And so I haven't been looking at the comments. So um, just want everyone to know that I do go back and look at the comments after, okay? Now what we're gonna do is, as you recall, I already cut out the happy. And again, let's put just a little bit more adhesive on here. Okay, and we are just about done and it was that quick. So I wanna show you, you can either uh, use the sponge or when you have a little bit thicker, you can go ahead and do it this way if you prefer. Okay, so that way I was able to kind of show you both. Okay, then we're just gonna put that right here and the liquid glue enables us to move it around a little bit, but I'm happy with that. So there we are, we are done. And again, you can put your sentiment here if you want. Um, and I think I am going to, I just don't want it to look gaudy. You can add one of these fun little ones if you want. Actually, let's go ahead and do that just for the fun of it. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and add this one and kind of keep the edges pulled up so it looks like it's like a flying star almost. Then I'm going to take one of these white ones. Let's see what the white one looks like. Nope, I don't like that. Uh, what about just putting a little red one? Come here. And I do like that. So again, just dab it a little bit and whoops. So that way you can kind of see whether you like it more plain or with some little more added. So there's our card done and I think it's adorable. This is such an adorable card. I don't think I needed the stars, but this really needs to be a staple in my stash. That's what I was saying, Lori, because I'm really hoping that they're going to be bringing out um, the Christmas ones to go with it again because I loved it. So again, I said that we got to make sure we do something fun with the envelope. So let's move this out of the way for just a second, okay? 
and let's clean up the mess just a little bit. So remember, I went ahead and had to dye three different colors to add um, enhancement to it. So since I already have extra, I'm gonna go ahead and take a red one, okay? Let's put this over here and do the envelope. So I could either do it here, which I actually kind of like that, but if you're mailing it, you wouldn't have room for your return address. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and just put this on the flap. So again, how did we do that? We just dabbed a little bit of glue, okay? Put that star in there. This one I'm not gonna fill out because I want it to have the look of the white underneath it, but I might add a couple of blue just as a little added, okay? So here we have this, and I'm just gonna go like this in the center, just like that. And I think what I might do is maybe just even add one blue. Let's see what that looks like. Um, may as well, okay? Why not? We already have them cut out. Okay, so again, how easy and fun that is. Um, and we can even put some little ones to show the dimension around the white if you want. So let's go ahead and finish this up. Actually, I do like all the blue since we already have them done anyway. Some of them look more popped than others. I'm gonna put a little one in this bigger section to see that you can see where you get the red, white, and the blue. And then just one more real quick here. And then uh, we can see about adding a fun one. Um, did I, where's my red one? I don't think I punched out another red one. So there is the flap. My fingers are getting all sticky now, I think. So hold on just a second. There we go. So how cute is that? So you have your card and your envelope. I just love that. And it was so fast. And I just happened to have an extra star right here, so why don't I just go ahead and add that in the corner. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. And there we have it. We have the front of the card the back of, I mean, the front of the envelope. Then we have the card. And then we have the back of the envelope. So I really hope that you have enjoyed today's card. Don't forget that if you want to place an order in my online store um, until June 30th, please use this host code. And again, if you wanna get one of those bundles for free, um, up, some of them are up to $60. You get free shipping on your starter kit, which is also a huge advantage. Just please let me know. If you have any questions about today's cards or any other questions, please just let me know. You have a great and wonderful weekend. It's a beautiful sunny day here in Colorado. Um, for those of you who are celebrating Father's Day, please enjoy your Father's Day with your family and give each other extra hugs. And... Um, I will see you, if not sooner, on Wednesday. Everybody be blessed. Thank you again. Bye-bye.